So many of us love looking back at our Facebook memories, the photos of the kids, photos, comments from friends who've passed away. You might think that all of that information is safely stored in the Facebook cloud, but as victims of the Lily Collins Facebook hack learned, it is quite possible for all of that to be gone just like that. Hackers took over their account and locked them out. Facebook won't let them back in. Raleigh LaPlante told me this time it was just a click on a Facebook ad for a chat GPT program. Because I think they're able to actually compromise the account just by clicking a link. Which is frightening because who hasn't clicked on a link in the news feed? Security experts say it can happen again. This is going to run pretty rampant if they don't get control of it. So to protect and save all of your Facebook information, you should download it in the event another hack compromises your Facebook account. How to do that, go to Facebook settings and privacy on a computer, and then privacy on the left side of the page and select your Facebook information. Here you can transfer a copy of your information, your photos, videos, posts, to a Google Photos or Dropbox. You can also download your profile information. This is pretty much everything you've ever uploaded to Facebook, your contacts, messages, and comments. This downloads all of that data onto a computer in HTML format for viewing. You should also download it all in JSON, so if you ever lose your Facebook profile, someone can import it into a new Facebook account. Depending on how long you've been on Facebook, how much you've uploaded, this can take a very long time. Facebook will send you a link through email that you must click on fairly soon because it will disappear and you'll have to start this whole process over again. That's What the Tech, I'm Jamie Tucker.